Okay, folks, this is a, this is a deal that didn't go as planned. Um, and so, so we're kind of redoing it, and that's why I'm voiceover and everything. Uh, in the original footage here, I had, had the microphone on and was talking the whole time. But what, I'm, what I've got here, this is a four-year-old Colt that belongs to a friend of mine, or did belong to a friend of mine. And he called me and, and he said the, uh, the Colt had had 60 days last year. And then when he came home, just, just when it was time for, for the owner to go to ride him, and the, the owner's been horseback his whole life. He's a rancher in California and can darn sure ride things. Um, just before it was time for him to go ride him, uh, he got in wreck broke his pelvis, the owner did. And so the horse had a year off and would I, would I ride him around? And that's, we had a misunderstanding with what was going on. That's what I understood. Um, and so I thought it was going to be a, you know, a little 30 day project. And he said, Oh, he's kind of hard to catch and little, little snorty and this and that. And I thought, okay, it's just going to be a little 30 day project. Um, and had it not been, that the owner's an old old friend of mine. I, I probably wouldn't have even done it because I had a lot of colts to ride at this time. So anyway, I got a hold of the horse, uh, saddled him, and he bucked around a little bit. That was no big deal because he had a year off. Um, and I stepped on him, and he would only turn his head to the left. He'd just bury his head to the left, put it against your knee. You couldn't get him to, to untrack out of that. And uh, when you try to straighten him out, pull with that right rein and try to do anything when he'd see you out of his right eye he'd bolt and run off and so I called Logan up and and I said hey here's what's going on and he says yeah that's that's what the other guy said the, the other guy that had started him is a really really good hand um, he said that's that's what he said too he'd run off and run off till his legs give out and then he'd fall down and I said oh I didn't understand that part of it I said this isn't going to be a 30-day fix and he said, no, no, for sure. Um, just keep him, keep him as long as you, as long as you need to. So what I'm doing here is I'm circus pulling him, but you see, I'm doing it different than I, than I normally do. I've got him in real close and normally with a horse that wants to run off, uh, the big problem is, is because they don't know how to move. And so this colt, this is actually the second day I circus pulled him and you see, he's having a hard time getting around there. Uh, the day before, before we got any video, he couldn't get around in a circle that small. And he's a big colt, but he, he's athletic enough. He ought to be able to. Uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to push him around here and trying to get, trying to get him where he can find his feet and be more confident about the way he moves. And, and this is what I do with the runaway. Uh, I, you know, horses run off because they don't know how to move. So riding them harder, you know, riding them to death, putting a bigger bridle on, uh, none of that works. I, me and every other horse trainer in the world when we were younger is, has had one like that and uh, where we, well, you want to run, we'll just run till you don't want to run anymore. That works that day. Uh, but then as soon as they get aired up, then, then it's the same thing. So runoffs are a, are a confidence issue. So that's what I'm working on through all this circus pole stuff here and I'm, I'm gonna fast forward in between and just kind of hit the high points here Okay, so we fast forwarded all that. This is towards the end of his work. I've stopped him, let him, let him take some breaths. This was a hot day. And so I'm just gonna show you here how much better he's moving around. That was, that was like a 20 minute clip that we fast forwarded through. And so now he's able to kind of get around that post. You see he's tracking better. He's, he's got more confidence about it. So long about this time, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I won. I'm winning. This is working really good for me. And that's, uh, 
we just go around here a little bit more and then I pet on him and tell him he's good. So we'll fast forward again to the next day. Okay, so whether this is actually the next day or not, I don't recall because I think I'd circus pulled him several times in between because this is on a, on a Sunday afternoon when it's quiet. I'm going to put him on the walker. Um, he'd never been on the walker before. Uh, again, this is part of my master plan to, to just put him on there and just let him walk and be free and not have any, not have any, uh, anybody trying to guide him just so he kind of gets comfortable in his own skin. And what I've got here is I've got an old gelding that darn sure knows the walker in front of him and an old gelding that darn sure knows the walker behind him. Um, and that's how I introduce all these colts to the, to the hot walker is, is so they've got somebody to follow them and someone to be behind them. And, uh, you know, cause those, these darn things, they look like a wreck waiting to happen cause they kind of are. And some part of my grand scheme here, that wind's helping me a bunch. Part of my grand scheme here is this day I walked him and then the next time I put him on it, I put him on by himself. I don't think we have any footage of that, but I put him on by himself. And, and just let him trot all by himself there for for a long time. Again, just an effort to try to get him comfortable about moving and how he moves. And before we fast forward, I, I'll I'll just let us watch this little part here, just in case any of you're introducing onto a walker. <laughs> I did. Whenever. Uh, Whenever I put a new one on the walker, I set him up like this with two older horses. And then I stand there and wait for at least one revolution, sometimes two, just to make sure they're not getting in a wreck. Um, make sure it's not something where I gotta pull them off. And so kind of stand there, let him see what's going on. And uh, we don't need to bore you with that anymore because as it, as it turns out, he was fine about the walker. That didn't bother him. So we're gonna hit fast forward again. So this is the this is about day ten with this horse, and I've been circus pulling him in real tight circles, uh, without a saddle on all along. And so today I'm I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a ride on him because I think I've got him where I need him to be. Um, and I want to say on this to get the the full audio and the and the full. Uh, three-part series that we did here you can uh, check it out on patreon where it's got the actual audio what, what that I'm talking while I'm doing it but anyway as you can see this Colts he's not upset about being saddled he's he's standing quiet um, everything's kosher here and like I said I've, I've spent about 10 days now ground working him doing a variety of other things to um, I, I sidelined him and, and did some things like that and try to just make him a little more humble. And so in this video, I've already, I'd already worked him about 15 minutes loose and now I'm going to saddle him and, and move him off. And what we'll see here is that um, he, he moves off quiet and then the saddle kind of scares him and, and he bucks around. Uh, again, it's not something I'm I'm real worried about. Tried to step on me there. Right there, you can see how he, he tenses up. He's gonna stand and be good, but he's already planning. He's already planning his next move. He's, I I can already tell he's gonna buck. Um, oh, I guess I mentioned in part of this. You guys will be able to see. I took my back cinch off, just to kind of try to make it just a little easier for him. One less thing. To bother him and so he moves off quiet there and there we go bucking around and that's that was something I totally expected you see I don't let go of him I don't just let him be loose I'm not trying to stop him but I don't let go of him um, a lot of times those horses get even more scared if they if they feel like they're totally out of control. So there he goes around and 
we're going to hit fast forward again here in a second. And throughout all everything, we're fast forwarding these bucks around a little more, a few times, and then kind of settles into traveling pretty good. Okay, so at this point, I've run him around to the point where he's he's not wanting to buck around. Look, he's got a leg cock there. He's uh, he's not. I don't have him like totally aired out where he's where he's just plumb out of horse. Um, so I back him up. I don't want to get on him with that leg cock, but he's he's quiet, and I, I think now's a good time to ride him. I'm, I'm thinking he's confident enough that I can I can get away with a small ride. And so there he wants to put his head to the left. That's how he'd always wanted to do everything. Um, I'm just gonna pet on him a little bit, tell him it's good. And, and what I'm trying to do is, give him, got him to untrack there. I'm hoping he'll just travel on his own. Maybe if I do a little couple circles here, he'll just, he'll just wanna travel. He says, I'll back up cock my head to the left and so there I get him to look at me nope he doesn't want to look I pulled his head around to the right there just a little bit and he looked at me and didn't didn't want to look but that's better than it had been right there I got him to do it again before if I get him to cock his head that much he'd he'd grab and run off I'm gonna to try to get him to look at me again And, and all through this, I'm, I'm using just my energy and, and clucking to him and try to get him to just step out. And I would be happy if I could walk a circle around this round pen both directions. It's kind of my goal here. At this point, I can't even get him to take a couple steps forward. There, I got him to look again. And, and see, every time he'll look at me, but then he wants to turn his head away because he's He's scared of seeing me over on that side. Here in just a second, we, I do get him to untrack. There we go. So right about now, I'm thinking I am winning. This is working exactly the way I thought it was going to. got a little stuck. And boy, I'm getting into look and everything. I'm pretty proud of myself here. Oh, grab a little bit. That's all right. Over here, he gets stuck again. Oh, I guess not. We're not to that part yet. So we got a whole lap. And it seems like everything's working the way it's supposed to. Uh, you know, 10 days earlier than this, if I got him that straight at all, it was, it was at a dead run. Maybe here's where he kind of gets froze up. I'm going to try to turn him into the wall and get a walk, get him to walk around the other way. And if I can do that, I'm going to be done. And so he's not wanting to turn. Got him most of the way. There he's looking. Boy, I'm proud. This is working. Oop, there's our runaway. And then he breaks down. And lucky for my team, I'm still a pretty good bronc rider. And so, I kind of think I got maybe things under control a little bit. Put him on a little bronc ride. And if it looks like I'm pulling on him, I'm darn sure pulling on him. I think, okay, well, we'll just have a little, little deal here. We're pretty much under control still. And then we start being out of control. And we will 
go ahead and hit fast forward now because it was more of this for, what is it, like 15 minutes he runs off. Uh, he runs off for a long, long time and I don't actually get him stopped. I uh, just sort of get him pulled up a little bit and I step off. You know, and like, that doesn't look like a dead eye shut runoff, and it's, it's not, but I don't have any control over what's going on. I'm just a passenger. And anytime I try to pull on him, try to slow him up at all, then he just grabs and runs again. So he'd been running off, running off, running off. Now he's just trotting off. Um, but I, I still consider this essentially a runaway because I, I don't have any control. I, if I pull on him, I can't slow him, slow him down anymore. I can't pull him into the wall and, and get him stopped. So even though we're not blindly running off at this point, um, that, as far as I'm concerned, this is, this is a still runoff mentality. Um, and there, there was a time in my life where I would have just kept him, kept him running until, till I did get something, but that's, this horse is four, almost five and, and I'm almost 40 and I've learned that that doesn't work. The next day it'll be just as tough. You'll have more of it. So what I'm doing here is, is just relaxing my seat. That Colt's trying to relax a little bit. I'm relaxing my seat, hoping he will slow down enough that I can just step off because I've already made up my mind about what's going on here. I'm, I'm going to call his owner and tell him this horse needs to go to the sale barn. He can't ride him and I don't want to. And, and that's what ended up happening. Um, you know, not all horses are good. Some of them are no good. That's just a fact. And, oh, and we're run off again. Some of them are no good and, uh, and, and some of them can't, can't be fixed or, or aren't worth the effort in, in trying to fix. Um, where he, where he grabbed there again, you know, he'd slowed down to a trot and I, I tried to kind of just pull his head around and see if I could slow him down a little bit, but he's pretty committed to this. And, and by this point, it is hot. Now he is, he is fagged out to the point where this is dangerous uh, for both of us because he, he is tired enough that he could go down. Uh, normally with a, a big stout horse like this, I'm not that worried about him going down if they want to grab and run, the little guys I am. But this horse is tired enough now that, that he darn sure could go down. And I'm tired and aired enough also that um, I'm not really firing on all eight cylinders by this point either. So kind of get him, I got him pulled around there a little bit. And I, at this point saying, well, the heck with that series where I was gonna show everybody how to fix a runaway because I ain't riding this horse anymore. So there you guys go. I just wanted to show a spot where it doesn't always work, not even for me. Mm -hmm.